This week's video, I want to talk about the cyclic nature of my art practice and the process that I have going on here. I'm now entering day 50 of the 100 day project and my goal of this project is to make 100 works finished works on paper within 100 days. And I'm right there with my goal. I have 48 listed on my website and which are all available for sale. So you can check that out. And I want to talk about the cyclic nature of a practice and showing up daily and what that commitment really means. Because, you know, you can give yourself a little assignment or a harder assignment. You can um, see what happens over time when you really commit. And I already noticed a lot of things are changing for me, not just in the artwork, but in the way I'm showing up. Hi, I'm Natalie Dadamio. I'm a mixed media artist, intuitive guide and channel, and I help people come deeper into the freedom of their heart and their creative expressions. <laughs> and that's like all about uh, using all expressions. It's more than just painting here, that's for sure. It's about voice and words and not hiding our authentic selves <laughs> um, in all of it, right? So what I've noticed over the years is when you hide out within yourself, um, well, first it hurts, but number two, when you're gonna go to do your creative work, you, you're kind of losing that connection. Um, and maybe that's when sometimes the creative block is coming. So the more we uncover and discover within what's in the way and like get really familiar, even the uncomfortability of it all, the more we can like bring it all forward, including voice, words, and um, any creative expression really. And the more we can turn to our desires and really dial in to what we love, not just in art, but in life. And that's exciting. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about just um, what it means to show up every single day. I'm gonna show you um, a myriad of works that are currently in process and then I'm gonna work on some of these works and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the cyclic nature of my practice and process and um, how abandonment shows up within that cyclic nature. Sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's slow and um, you know whatever way helps you go forward. There isn't a right or wrong here. There isn't a right or wrong in art. You gotta remember this. So let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I want to talk a little bit about commitment to your practice. This is like any creative practice. In this case, this is an art <laughs> and painting practice. Um, but commitment and dedication to anything you're going to decide to do, you know, it would, this advice would apply to any area, I think, um, in regards to, but I'm going to talk about it through the, in regards through the lens of art, because this is what it is, and I'm on day 50 of my 100 day project, I gave myself a harder assignment is to finish a work on paper, you know, 100 works on paper within 100 days. Now, I'm not necessarily doing one a day, but I'm always in the process of it. So I want to talk a little bit about the cyclic nature of the process itself and a practice and um, my relationship to it in a deep way. And then I may, I'm going to work on some of these works, but I'm going to go through them right now so you can get an idea of, um, you know, and it has to start from somewhere, right? And sometimes we're afraid to start. We're afraid to start because, you know, we don't know what we're going to get, right? But um, it's allowing ourselves to have that moment. And these are all in various stages, you know. What, how many do I have here? One. So this is 17 and it's in a rotation and when I talk about a cyclic process, I really am talking about 
working in succession, and you know, sometimes it is rapid, but sometimes it's slow. There isn't really a right or wrong there. It's going to be your own pace, your own timing, what works for you. What I've noticed over time, the more I commit to my practice, the more I can really dive deeper. And it's just natural. It's becoming like second, you know, second half. <laughs> like, like it's just part of me. I, um, and that is, I think, a testimony to showing up every day. And especially in this 100 days, but granted, I've done five 100-day projects now, and this one is really intense. Um, so we're all in, we're in different stages of the development of the idea, but what's important is in the cyclic process is to be paying attention to what's arising in the moment. And, and I'm going to just talk about the painting specifically in the art practice. But this could be like any practice that you're trying to like, you know, create a habit out of. Um, and like what I notice here is I see similarities already. You know, the way these lines and shapes are moving. Um, I could trace that through these successions. So when we talk about like building a series... Um, and you're in the cyclic process, it's naturally just going to form on its own. Um, <laughs> but, you know, there's challenges. This one is more uh, closer to being finished, finished. Um, because what it has is elements that I like. It has some ripped out elements. It has some, like, freedom. And I could, like, feel that this could, you know, I could bring this up to completion. I'm just looking at these all at once right now, you know, so I'm paying attention to, like, what is interesting, um, and, <laughs> and sometimes I'm surprising myself in this moment because I'm like, what the heck happened? I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, you know, it's good to, like, pay attention to that, too, even flip it around, um, and um, this is why the basis of an automatic drawing practice and the, just that 15 minutes or less practice is really going to be helpful for you. Helpful for the development of the visual vocabulary and language. Um, sometimes things that we do seem like insignificant at times in the moment, but then they, they really add up over time. And you gotta, to me, you have to think about art or anything you're striving to do for like ever <laughs> you know as a long game like of understanding um, there yeah there can be immediate things that happen around it but overall like if you don't want to quit you want to plan for the very long trajectory of it all um, because, you know, it's going to change. I, already, I see myself changing within this 50 days, but it's a cumulative factor of like six and a half years now. Um, and this is the fifth 100-day project. And then also giving yourself an assignment and taking a little bit more risk with that. Like, I'm going to make 100 finished works, at least what I'm calling finished because that's subjective. And um, if you look at my website, and I'll put the link in the comments below, there's um, right now 48 works on there. I have 49 finished, and I'll be finishing 50 today, possibly in this video. Um, but this is just giving you an idea of cycling through, and I call this like the abandonment part of the process, or the resting phase. Um, and now I'm going to return to some of these and create on them. But I'm also, like, noticing what's interesting. And, like, for instance, say I really love this. I might take a picture, you know, to inform me of that moment. Because, you know, I am going to lose these moments. <laughs> it's just um, the nature of this cyclic process, the search. The journey, right? And like you can break it down to um, this is just like a, in this moment a little journey, and then that extends over time, like months, days, years, you know. 
So we, we want to be mindful of all of that, I, I think. This is just from my perspective and stuff. So, you know, this one's most exciting to me. <laughs> and um, I don't know, like there's something about paying attention to like all these subtle marks and the way the surface is. And it just like grabs me. So I'm like noticing those moments and I'm noticing like what's most attractive <laughs> to me. And maybe what's working and what's not. Ooh. And this is where I was trying to bring this one up, but I was I was actually getting stuck on it. Sometimes when we try too hard, it doesn't work. So this is gonna have to be obliterated. Actually, I'm gonna show I'll show you that. I'll start with this one and then move into other ones. I'm gonna just start creating now and then I'm going to speed up this process and do a voiceover because it, it will be way too long if I do it all in real time. So the hard part really is maybe sometimes covering everything over and starting again. <laughs> but you just got to do it. When you know it's not working out, you just got to figure out a new direction in a way. And um, that's going to like evolve in this process and practice and the way we cycle through and get familiar it, you notice this stuff over time the more and more you work the more and more you commit yourself the more and more you go deeper and um you're constantly facing yourself so in those 50 days there's a shift but like and then like it's been over years you know so we want to understand that there's this ripening that happens over time and there isn't anything wrong with time actually sometimes taking the longer way around is going to give you the best view <laughs> and um, you're going to know a lot more about yourself and what you love in marks, colors, lines, shapes and forms and it's going to be even it gets more solid and the understanding comes from showing up and daring to say yes and try and that's all we can do sometimes thank you for joining me in the cyclic nature of my art process and practice and seeing what's there on day 50 of this 100 days and thinking about it for yourself like what could it mean and look like if you start showing up daily and committing more deeply and pushing yourself just a little bit farther you know because sometimes we just want to stay in that comfort zone but you know it's all about getting out a little bit more and a little bit more and then that's really going to open the door wider and then in the next couple months i'll be releasing online art classes that are a la carte style and this is exciting. One will cover automatic drawing and another one will cover the emotionality and investigating our emotions and our energy in our artwork. And then there's other ideas coming. So the first two will be out within the next couple months. And if you're interested in learning more about that, just sign up for my email newsletter. When you sign up for my email newsletter, you get a PDF of questions that you can start to ask yourself and start to uncover and discover how you want to like engage your practice. And there's also a free private meditation that helps you access your energy and emotion. There's a link within that download when you sign up. That link for the free PDF is below in the comment section and um, there'll be a lot more coming so stay tuned thank you for being here and remember to keep creating and keep moving forward that's all we can really do sometimes thank you